Hello children, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will talk about a problem from IOQM 2024. It is the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India. And using this video, we will learn how simple algebraic manipulation can go a long way. This particular problem is from both algebra and number theory. And a simple observation solves the problem beautifully. It says that there are two equations AC plus B plus C is equal to BC plus A plus 66. So AC plus B plus C is equal to BC plus A plus 66. And the second equation is a plus B plus C is equal to 32. Now, there is an additional condition that A is greater than C. We want to find out the value of A. One point that you should remember is that if you have three unknowns, in this case A, B, C, there are three unknowns, then usually you need three equations to solve them. But in some special cases, you can actually use properties of numbers to solve for general case even with fewer equations. In this problem, the clue is it's given that these are positive integers. So let's see how we can solve this. First, let's look at the first equation. We will do a very simple manipulation. We will bring everything to one side. So AC plus B plus C minus BC minus A is equal to 66. Here is the trick. I want to factorize the left hand side because I know if I can factorize it, then I can use the right hand side to then equate the two parts. I'll show what I, what I mean in a second. I'll subtract one from both sides. So I'll have AC plus B plus C minus BC minus A minus 1 is equal to 65. Okay. All right. So now that we have this, let us go ahead and do the factorization. I'll use AC minus A. AC minus A. So I can take A common, I'll get C minus 1, minus BC plus B. So again, I can take minus B common and again, I'll get C minus 1 plus C minus 1 is equal to 65. We are almost done. We will be factorizing it. So A times C minus 1 minus B times C minus 1 plus C minus 1 equals 65 or we have A minus B plus 1 times C minus 1 is equal to 65. Now what's awesome about this equation is that the left hand side, this is integer and this is integer. In the right hand side you have 65 which can be factorized in only a few ways. So 65 can be factorized at 5 times 13 or you could use a different order 13 times 5. Similarly, 65 times 1 and 1 times 65. This additional condition that A, B and C are positive integers, we are just using it here. So now we can compare component wise. For example, we could say that C minus 1 is 5 and A minus B plus 1 is 13. That's a possibility. There are few other possibilities as well. For example, C minus 1 equals 13 and A minus B plus 1 equals 5. Similarly, the other possibility could be C minus 1 equals to 65, A minus B plus 1 equals to 1. And finally, the last one, 
c minus 1 equals to 1 and a minus b plus 1 equals to 65. Okay, so there are four equations. We can now solve for a, b and c because at the back of the mind, you know that I have this third equation a plus b plus c equals 32. So, let me write the third equation. We use the trick that everything is an integer to come up with this, to convert this two equation scenario into a third equation. So, the third equation is always a plus b plus c equals 32. Okay, so we are done. We can now solve for this and find out the value of a. I'll just do one of them. I want you to do the remaining of them and tell me what is the final value of a. Remember the conditions a, b, c are positive integers, a is greater than c. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try the first one. So c is equals to 6. c is equals to say c minus 1 is 5 means c is 6 and a minus b plus 1 is 13, that means a minus b is 12. If I replace c here, I'll get a plus b plus 6 equals 32, or I'll get a plus b equals 26. So, a plus b is 26, a minus b is 12, so 2a is 9, a 38, or A is 19. So we got one answer. Now, can you check the remaining three equations, three cases, and tell me which one fits this description that A, B, C are positive integers and A is greater than C? Please put it in the comment section. You can also go ahead and click on the Panini 8 software link. It's a Math Olympiad software. You can check the link in the description of that. You can go there and join the con conversation on beautiful mathematics, physics, and computer science. You can practice problems, take mock tests. There are many other things there. So I am sure you'll like it. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep on doing great mathematics.